Hey y'all, it's Tiara Chardé. How you doing? It is time for the Divine Message for the Collective. This is your weekend edition. Just so you know, thank you so much for your support. Thank you for subscribing. Shout outs to the new subscribers. Um, and in case you didn't know, I am a certified master life coach, high priestess, ordained minister, author, as well as CEO and founder of the Embodying the Goddess Transformation Program and the Pussy Portal Program, which literally starts next month. Woo! The Pussy Portal Program starts on uh, February 22nd, so make sure you're enrolling. And just so you know, we have payment plans on deck and they're really juicy, so tap in, okay? I just wanted to share that with you all. So let's get into this message for your weekend. Um. I feel like many of you are going to, um, some of you are trying to figure out what to do with your weekend or how you want to move forward with something. There's a project that you're actually working on and you're not sure how to move forward or there's a situation in your life where you're not sure how to move forward because, you know, for some of you, there's a project going on that actually requires a financial investment of some kind, whether that's, um, traveling whether that's hiring a business coach so that you know how to navigate um, your path, whether that's um, purchasing things I just heard for your, your business or your home or your craft. Many of you are trying to figure out how much finances you have, how many resources you have, and how to utilize them in the best possible way to get the best possible results. Okay, so that's what you're going through. Also, for some of you this weekend, you're trying to figure out who you want to spend time with. Some of you have a couple options in love. And you know what? That's, that's all right. You know, it's, it's okay. Okay? Um, so you're trying to figure out who to spend time with. Some of you may be going out with somebody on Friday and then going out with somebody else on Saturday. Okay, look. And it could be for business networking or this absolutely could be romantic for some of you. For some, you're trying to figure out which person you want to um, commit to or be exclusive with or settle down with. Okay, so that's coming up. You could have absolutely walked away from a situation. Sorry, my like nose ring is kind of like. Um, you could have walked away from a situation that wasn't the best for you. It wasn't um, emotionally fulfilling or there were mind games or petty behavior going on and um for some of you you actually left a particular person and decided to move forward with someone else because of um i just heard emotional neglect emotional neglect for some of you so i don't know what that means to you that could possibly mean that you were ghosted or um Someone wasn't keeping their word with you. Um, it could be something like that. I'm not sure what, you know, take what resonates, leave the rest, don't make the story fit, okay? For some of you, you're going to be meeting someone this weekend. Um, it could be by chance. So make sure you look at cute, you know, okay? And um, yeah, make sure you're grounded, I heard. Cause some you of you do of you and you know I understand this I understand this some of you could be a little spicy a little spicy a little poppy with the mouth I get it look I get it I'm a Libra Sun Pisces Moon okay listen I get it sometimes we pop off that's all right but but try to reserve yourself moving forward as much as you can some of you may feel like you have um you've just kind of been in balance with your emotions because there's just so much going on. You receive so much just stuff. Um, there's a need to slow down. So for those who resonate with this, you might want to just stay home this weekend or stay home Friday and go out Sunday or something like that. Um, so there's that. Somebody's wondering who can babysit their children this weekend, but nobody should babysit your children but you. And not even babysit. This is the message coming in. Wow. Not even babysit your children, but engage with your children. 
right? For some of you, this is no judgment because I get it. I get it, okay? Um, for some of you, um, the TV and the video games are the babysitter and, you know, you do what you need. You do what you do. You probably work. You're probably tired, okay? I get that, right? But there's something going on with someone's household where there needs to be engagement with your children, like literal engagement and not just for a half an hour and not just for an hour and a half. I mean like a four hour window where you are up in their face and y'all are giggling and coloring and painting and playing and building um, tree forts out of the kitchen chairs. There needs to be play with someone and their children. It's, it's almost imperative I'm getting and I don't really know why that is. Um, I don't know if your child feels abandoned or neglected or unloved or misunderstood. For some, your child wants to share information with you. It doesn't have to be really, really traumatic information. It could just be like, hey, you know, I wasn't really feeling good yesterday. But look, spend time with your kids, okay? <laughs> Let's get an oracle card, all right? Let's just get an oracle card for the weekend. Let's see what's up. All right, things popped out. All right. We have gossip and slander. That's funny because I... <laughs> I literally just said, what, watch. <laughs> Sorry. I literally just said, watch your mouth because you be, you be a little poppy with the mouth. Look. Okay, it's all right. But the divine is just saying, you know... This is just watch out for that. And for others of you, this is literal gossip and slander. Like somebody's literally watching your social media platform and they don't like the fact that you be shining so damn bright. For others of you, this is somebody in your neighborhood. They talk about you a lot. You're a hot item out here, I'm getting. <laughs> You're a topic of discussion in your neighborhood, Hetty. Then we have successful entrepreneur. So, like I was saying, many of you, you're in the house tonight, you're working on your projects, you're trying to figure out how to launch a project or um, how to market yourself, what strategy, you're putting your curriculums together, you're outlining your new YouTube channel, um, you're uploading your photos and content to Planoly so it can auto-post. You're doing something um, here my successful entrepreneur who resonates with this and make sure that you're not caught up in any gossip and slander. Just stay out of it. There's a need for somebody to be in a league of their own to separate. Ooh. Leave a comment. I just got goosebumps and I don't know why. Leave a comment if you resonate with this, but there's a need for a particular entrepreneur or anyone, right? You don't have to be an entrepreneur, but there's a need for you to separate yourself. Hmm. Maybe you are needing quiet time. Maybe you're needing to go to the library to work. Maybe you're needing to keep your plans quiet. Y'all know me. I always say the wisest words I ever heard in my life was real G's move in silence like lasagna. I was like, Lil Wayne, what? That's, 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 mwah. <laughs> that's the key to life, okay? So maybe you're needing to do that to avoid people talking about you and your projects. Um, and like I said, some of you are needing to avoid, uh, cattiness, pettiness, just talking, talking. You don't need to. You're a successful entrepreneur. For many of you, um, your products, your content will speak for itself. You won't need to talk. And then I defend you is here. I defend you. Some of you, I feel like this, ooh, I just got goosebumps again. This is kind of like what I was saying with spending time with your child. There, there could be something going on or um, they're just not feeling good or whatever it is. You're needing to discuss it with them in a way that's playful. Play with them and then ask them how they're doing and they'll feel really good. They'll want to share information with you if you do it in that way. Um, for others of you, this is somebody's literally hearing information about you and they don't like it somebody is hearing information about you and they do not like it 
So this is more so of um, someone is overhearing gossip and slander about you and they're defending you. Like, wait a minute now. They're not like that. She's not like that or he's not like that. Or I don't think they would lie about that. They've been very truthful and forthcoming uh, like since I've known them. So I don't understand it. For others of you, this is in regards to a successful entrepreneur. I'm getting that. I feel like your ideas or your content has been stolen or has been copied. Well, stolen. And I feel like somebody is calling someone out here. Wow. Someone is calling someone out. They could be saying like, hey, like I saw him launch this like literally two months ago. Why are you saying the same things? Or, um, yeah, I'm, I'm feeling like somebody's going to be found out for something and there's really nothing they could do about it because they're needing to be called out, I guess. Um, but again, for many of you, you have somebody who is literally defending you and um, who has your back and they may not make themselves known at all. They may not tell you that they've been hearing a lot of hurtful things about you and they've been standing up for you. They may not even share that with you at all. But for some, I, I kind of, a couple of you, I kind of feel like this is going to be shared, whether this is you or the other person. All right, somebody's gonna come forward and I'm just now getting that they're nervous about telling you what has been going on behind the scenes. Um, whoever resonates with this message, just open your heart to receive information. Um, just open your heart to receive um, messages coming from the divine through other people, okay? So that is your, um, I just trying to see if anything else is coming in. I heard forgiveness. Somebody's needing to forgive. You could be defensive because someone was slandering and gossiping you. You're needing to have forgiveness in your heart. But like I was saying, that does not mean that you need to, well, I was saying this in the last video, um, that does not mean that you have to engage with that person at all. So um, you could just have forgiveness within yourself. But yeah, y'all, that's it. That's the divine message for the collective. Make sure you click on the information in the description box. I appreciate your donations. That information is in the description box, as well as information on how to book with me and enroll in one of my programs and courses. Okay. I love y'all. Peace and love. Have a good night.